Even at the height of their fame, everything but the girl were a curiously low-key band. In her autobiography, Tracy Thorne recalls her and Ben Watt once being pursued by a gang of Italian fans, but it turned out they were pursuing them in the erroneous belief that they were 80s pop jazz combo Matt Bianco. Since they stopped making records under that name, Watt has retreated further into the background, running a dance label, Buzz and Fly, releasing the occasional house track, including one improbably titled Pop a Cap in Your Ass, and playing a supporting role on Thorne's solo albums. In recent months, however, Watt's not only published a new book, a memoir of his parents' mental and physical decline called Romany and Tom, which I urge you to read, but he's also put out his second solo album. His first, North Marine Drive, came out 31 years ago. That was a delicately jazzy, largely acoustic album made by what was still a student. And occasionally, as on the lovely drifting golden ratio, Hendra sounds exactly like its grown up relation. See the gulls as they fly below. Winter these paths disappear on the snow. Here I come and here I go. Is this a momentary golden ratio? Elsewhere, however, it dabbles in the kind of music you would never have dared to admit to liking on the early 80s indie scene. Watt is audibly a fan of mid-70s singer-songwriters like Al Stewart. Their influence hangs heavy over the sound of the album, which I really like. It's warm, thick with gorgeous harmonies and electric piano and vintage synthesizers. Watt's melodies sound effortless, and at 51 he's unafraid to tackle a lot of what you might call mature topics that don't often get written about in rock music. Matthew Arnold's Fields is about scattering his father's ashes. Young Man's Game addresses the vexing problem of whether or not it's alright for a middle-aged man to go to a nightclub, while The Levels is an incredibly affecting portrait of a man facing life after losing his wife. village past the church where we got married I can see for miles Now there is the future What's this standing in my way? Right now it's my It's obviously not a sonically groundbreaking record, but as a demonstration of what songwriting prowess, Hydra is pretty much perfect. It's out on Monday.